Hi, my name's Amanda. I am a coach and a channel, and this is another episode of Meet the Archangels, where every single week I trans channel one of the archangels, bring them through, and give them an opportunity to introduce themselves to you and bring forward whatever message of wisdom and guidance that they want to share with you. I have something really special for you this week because Archangel Michael is coming through to introduce himself and to speak with you today. If you really enjoy these videos and you really like hearing the messages from the Archangels, then I have something for you that you are going to love. Every single month, I host an experience called the Expansion Experience, where I trans-channel one of the Archangels or one of the Ascended Masters who come forward and bring forward a message specifically for the people in attendance. And then one by one, invite everyone forward to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching experience with them. If you're going through something in your life where you're struggling and you're feeling stuck or blocked in some way and you would really like to receive support and guidance, this is for you. And there is no better way to receive that. There is no better way to access higher level of perspective and wisdom and awareness than having it brought forward through you directly from one of the Archangels or Ascended Masters. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this is something that you would like to learn more about, please head to my website, amandalaurenblau.com. The next expansion experience is coming up on September 17th, and it's going to be a really good one. If this is the type of content that you like, there's going to be a lot more coming at you. So please stick around and click subscribe, and I will be back next week for some more Meet the Archangels content. Thank you so much for watching. Hello. Hello, my children. I have been waiting for my opportunity to speak to all of you, and it seems as though I have been waiting for so long, and yet. I believe that this is the perfect time for this conversation between us because I have much to share with you. I believe that some of you know who I am and some of you may not. And for that reason, I'm going to introduce myself to you. My name is, my name is Archangel Michael and I am an angel here to guide and protect you. And this is my, my priority above all else, is to ensure that you feel safe and comforted and never feel as though you are alone when I'm near. For I take it upon myself to be your guardian and protector as you walk this earth. And I walk along beside you and I light up the path in front of you to make sure that you feel that you are never alone on it. And I realize that sometimes you might still feel this way. You might feel that you are walking all by yourself and that that can feel sometimes lonely and a little bit trepidatious when you do not know where it is leading you. But my friends, what I would like you to know above all else is that you are never alone. I am always there beside you, holding your hand, leading you and guiding you exactly where you desire to go. But most importantly, I am there to make you feel safe and sound. And this is a job that I take very seriously for and is when you are feeling that you are upset and that you are perhaps feeling as though you are crumbling to pieces, when you your heart is breaking open, when you are afraid of what may come, when you are dealing with any sort of pain or opportunity in your life that is bringing you a degree of distress. This is when I appear most often in front of you for I am there to offer you support and to be there with you in this time where you feel that perhaps things will never go back to how they were before. And I know that sometimes during your time on this planet, it can feel 
upsetting that you must undergo these situations. And much of the time I get my children asking me, why, why must I be going through this? Why am I here to suffer so intensely? Why do we come here to endure this pain when we don't have to? And to that, I would like to offer you a different perspective. One that I believe will bring you a lot more peace upon your journey ahead. And that is that when you are not here, when you are living out your existence in a time where you are not living on earth in your physical body, you do not have an opportunity to endure these things. For all you know is love. That is all that there is to know and to feel and experience. And it is only through experiencing things that are different from what you are and different from what you know that you can learn and grow from them. And so my loves, that is why you come here you come here to experience a version of you that you do not have access to otherwise. And sometimes this can unfold in ways that are unprecedented and that bring you much pain and suffering. And I am not asking you to be okay with this. I am not asking you to enjoy this aspect of your life here. I am simply bringing you awareness around why why you must undergo certain experiences in this lifetime that may be less than ideal for you. And I promise you that it is not for no reason at all and that you are not going through it out of sheer purposelessness because, my loves, there is deep purpose within it. And you are going to leave your lifetime on this planet and say thank you. Thank you for watching over me and for guiding me and leading me when I didn't know which way to turn. And I'm so grateful for all of you to be so brave and to come here and live out an existence on this planet that many choose not to do because of the requirement that is involved in coming here. To come live out an existence on this planet requires that you forget so much of who and what you are. And this forgetting elicits feelings of isolation that is not necessarily pleasant to experience. And this is why I so desperately wanted to come forward today to speak to you because I want to remind you that although this is something that you feel, it is not the reality of what it is because you really never are alone. And it can be difficult to fully embrace this notion when you cannot hear me or see me or feel me clearly there with you, but I guarantee you I am there. For each and every one of you watching this, I love you deeply. And I ask that you call upon me when you need me most, when you are feeling like you need protection in your life. For it is not wrong to desire this. It is not wrong to feel that you need the love and comfort of a guardian figure because that's what I am. I am your guardian angel. And I believe that, that that is a big part of my purpose in my existence is to instill this version of guardian protector of all the beings that come down onto this planet. I love this role that has been imparted upon me and I step into it with so much vigor and enthusiasm. It is my deepest purpose 
and desire for you to feel me there beside you in your time of need, to know that there is someone, something there watching over you. And what's more than that, I want you to know that you can call, up, call upon me to bring you what you desire or to bring you what you, what you want to have unfold before you. For I am capable of wearing many hats, so to speak, into walking many paths depending on what it is that you desire from me. Call upon me when you need a gentle caress from a loving embrace. Call upon me when you need a change in scenery. For I am capable of creating insight or motivation to create this for you. Call upon me when you are in desire of love in your life or partnership and relationship with another. Call upon me anytime you are in desire of something new, desire of change, desire of a different kind of commitment of yourself. I desire to be the being that you call upon when you are in need, in need of anything at all. For I take it upon myself to love to have this role in your life of of protector, but also of bringer of gifts. Because that is how I view all of you as a gift, a gift to me in my existence on this planet and outside of it. And you and I have made that arrangement prior to you coming here. You simply just do not remember this part. But we did sign an agreement, you and I, that I would be here available for you anytime you needed me to be. And I have been holding up my end of the bargain because I am always here for you. But you must call upon me in order for me to be able to assist you to the best of my ability. You see, it comes down to choice. You have the choice to be helped. You have the choice to have an angel beside you to help you along your journey so that it does not feel quite as challenging as it could be. But you must call upon me first. You must ask for my assistance where it is needed and desired. And when the time comes that you finally muster up the courage to say, Archangel Michael, I am indeed in need of your expertise in this moment. I will be more than happy to assist you. And so what I want you to know above all else in terms of who I am, why I am, and how I am, it is simply love in the form of guardianship. For this is who I am, this is why I am, and this is the arrangement that we have together. You come here to learn and grow and foster a new experience of you and all that life here has to offer. And I am here to assist you along your path in any way you desire of me to. And together we walk this path, you and I until it is time to return to where you came from. One more thing I would like you to know about me is that there is never an ask that is too great. And sometimes I feel that you hesitate to call upon me because you do not believe that what you desire is possible for you or that I am capable of assisting you in it. And to that I say, my love, this is not a limitation that you are placing on me, but it is a limitation that you are holding inside of you, that this world is, is less capable of being shifted and created in whatever way you desire it to be than you give it credit for being. 
And in this respect, you give away so much of your power and potential. And that is quite unfortunate because you came here to fully experience it for yourself. And why would you hold back in that? What harm is it in tiptoeing outside of your comfort zone? and simply testing the waters, testing the boundaries of what is truly possible for you while you are here. What is the worst that could happen if you call upon me and realize that what you receive is different from what you asked for? Or perhaps there is greater potential within it than you may have realized but that is ultimately the worst case scenario. And when you think about it that way, is that so bad? You may call upon me and ask for something very specific and you may not receive exactly what you asked for, but there is a reason for this. And the reason is that sometimes you cannot see the greater role at play around you. And there are things that you are in desire of that are not necessarily for and within your best interest. And as it is, like I said, my role to be your guardian and protector. And therefore, it is not my job to bring you necessarily what you desire consciously. But what are you, but what you are in need of beneath that that you may not be privy to in the way that you desire to be or, or are capable of being. And it is up to me to know what you need deep down to carry you through the current obstacle that you are facing. And so what you, are, what you will be receiving from me is what you are in need of most not what you are in desire of most. And this is something to keep in mind and part of the trust between us that you and I have built many lifetimes ago and that I do my best to uphold in our relationship together. And so what I ask of you is to begin to Step into the full power and potential of what you are capable of bringing forward in this lifetime while you are here and trusting me to aid you on your journey towards it. For why would I forsake you in that? I would like you to move forward from this conversation today with one knowing and one knowing only, and that is my greatest gift that I am in desire of from you is the faith that you have both in me as well as you. And I would love for you to demonstrate this faith by calling upon me when you are in need of assistance and allowing me to serve you in that. Because when I serve you, you in return serve me. And this is the partnership that we have together. I am a byproduct of the consciousness that envelops all of us. And I want you to know that you are a byproduct of the same. You and I, we are no different. It is simply the illusion of this place that allows you to see it that way. But if you were to open up your perspective just a little bit you would see 
that we are the same, we are of the same, we are one of the same, the same consciousness, the same awareness, the same vibration, and the same desire for growth, expansion, love, and partnership. Because at the most basic fundamental level, we are one. And that is what I would like you to connect with above all else when you think of me. That when you connect to me, you connect to you. And that is where you will find me. And that is where you will find me. I love you deeply. Do not hesitate to call my name and I will be there quicker than you can finish it. <laughs>